little bit of housekeeping before I start, in the event of a fire. For God's sake, don't follow me. <laughs> I'm Jamie MacDonald. I am uh, a stand-up comedian going by the name of That Funny Blind Guy. Um, I've been doing stand-up now for a year and a half. And this year I will be taking my new show, That Funny Blind Guy 2, The Good, The Stag and The Ugly, to the Assembly George Square in, uh, in the Edinburgh Festival, where I'll be performing nightly at 21.05. Well, it helps having always been shit at banking. Okay. Yeah. So the transition wasn't like I was really good at banking and then I went to do comedy. It was like I was shit at banking and quite funny. I think I think it's a pretty good show. It's uh, it's described as an anecdotal, character-driven hour of fun, um, where I, I do a lot of uh, I do a lot of I'm quite good at uh, doing kind of different voices and characters, and uh, there's loads of different things and the other stuff on Scottish independence. I talk about why Jesus um, turned water into wine at the wedding at Cana. Um, I talk about new relationships. I talk about the absolute horrific messes I get myself into when I get drunk and go to nightclubs. Um, and a lot of stuff I hope that people will be able to relate to. Um, you don't have to be, you don't have to be blind to enjoy it. Sophie got us dinner, bed and breakfast in a hotel in Persia for like a quid each and all we had to do to get the voucher or the discount was go on a Tuesday, eat from a limited menu, sleep outside and suck off the chef. <laughs> okay, we didn't have to sleep outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't, I don't labour on the blind thing too much. I kind of, um, I do a bit at the start that kind of just gets puts people at ease with it. Um, but I think, you know, you can't. Everything I do comes from the perspective of being a blind guy because that's what stand up is. It's your own kind of take on life, and I can't really have an, I have, a, have another take on life that isn't about a blind guy living. You know, so so it, it all, it all comes from that perspective. But uh, I, I don't know what insight it gives me over anyone else. I suppose maybe. I hear better? I have no idea. <laughs> do you know what I found? Because I do a lot on, um, I do a section of the shows on Scottish independence because um, it's kind of a hot topic up in Scotland. I was quite worried about taking that down south, but um, it's, it's, it's brilliant. Like, uh, they, 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 it seems to be quite a, a topical debate down here as well. And I gauge the room and it seems like everybody down here, or most people down here want us to stay in the union which is very nice, apart from the one guy who told us to fuck off, <laughs> uh, which was on Tuesday night. There aren't five. I mean, I'm sitting here, if, if the camera moved down, the first thing you see, I'm wearing sandals. <laughs> Pretty fucking lame. <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't know. I don't really know if I'd, I, 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 I'm Scottish. We don't, we don't, you know, if I said five things I like about myself, I'd be declared up my own arse. So that's not allowed in Scotland. Who would play me? Some, somebody just. Who's that? I'm trying to think of that gang of David Blunkett. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I am on uh, the 1st to the 25th of August in Studio 4 Assembly George Square Studios at 9.05 pm nightly um, and the show will be an hour long I still have to write 20 minutes of that hour but it will be an hour uh, seven pounds a ticket seven pounds a ticket five pounds if you are in a wheelchair or a student or both you don't get any you don't get doesn't get it 250 if you're both